Pulse School on realairculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, DuPont Ferguson and Fungicide, and Nodulator XL. Today I'm here with Ken Fat Chang, a research plant pathologist with Alberta Agriculture and Rural Development. And today we're talking a little bit about downy mildew. So downy mildew, is this a new disease? Uh, actually, and uh, Debra, this is not a new disease uh, at all. Uh, the earliest report about this, this disease uh, was reported by uh, Mr. F. R. Harper in uh, 1954 in southern Alberta. But since then, uh, the disease was uh, disappeared somehow until recently, uh, in 2004, uh, the disease started to happen again very seriously, mostly in central and central east of, of Alberta. And uh, those areas we have done the disease survey, and uh, we found the disease actually is quite active, you know, and uh, we couldn't and ignore this disease at all because it can uh, reduce the yield by um, up to 25 percent. The pathogen it can produce the, uh, two kinds of spore. One is the old spore, which is a survival structure, survival spore over winter. And the other one is the spreading spore, and we call conidia. So we start to introduce that uh, old spore first. Old spore is a thick wall and spore with a rough surface, a yellow color, round shape. It can survive in the soil of over 10 years, up to 15 years. That's why it makes the disease so difficult to control. So the old spore starts to germinate, and in fact, that uh, um, pea seeding then becomes systemic uh, the symptom infection. So downy mildew, why we call downy mildew? Because that uh, uh, spore and canidia usually form underneath of the leaf, which is a uh, uh, very good survival structure. By this way, the spore won't be exposed to direct sunlight and UV light, so that the spore can propagate more and better and stay longer under natural condition. Well, the disease usually happens in early June in Alberta condition. And uh, well, it depends on the setting day and weather condition. If you uh, see the crop in the late May and uh, in early June, uh, the seeds start to germinate. Under that kind of circumstances, if we have uh, two or three continuously the cool day with a rain shower, frequent rain shower, then so the old spore can start to germinate under that kind of condition in, in fact plan. Then once the city infected with downy mildew, it becomes systemically infected, which means the start from the lower portion of the stem up to the top portion. So the infected plant becomes so stunted and yellowing because totally parasited by this pathogen. So a lot of nutrients suck, suck out by the pathogen. So it becomes uh, short and stunting. And uh, so the, and the leaf side, it produces a lot of uh, spores. So that is what we call canidia. It can spread out by the short distance, by the rain splash, or by long distance and uh, uh, by air current. So you can see the symptom like this. Some yellow patch on the leaf surface from top view. This is the start of the early symptom. If you look at the underneath of the leaf, then you will find a lot of uh, structure like this. These are the fungal mycelium, bearing a lot of uh, canidium, the spore. So once the seed is infected with downy mildew, so it becomes stunted, like the picture show you here. So this one is healthy plant. You can see the big difference there. And uh, once the plant got in the leaves or young shoot got infection. So you show that kind of yellow patches. But under the hot and dry condition, so those kind of patches of spot become the magnetic uh, uh, color, brown color. The downy mildew also can infect uh, the, the, the stem, leaf, and the parts like this. So also 
the pectin can penetrate inside of the part tissue and produce a lot of uh, old spores there. Uh, under dry condition, so the disease uh, should be stopped. When the weather becomes hot and dry, you couldn't see this disease uh, uh, widely. But that doesn't mean the disease disappear, or the pathogen disappear. Uh, under that kind of dry condition, systemically infected plant they die. These dead plants are caused by dung mildew infection, but not the soybean disease or so soybean pathogen. So why? If you look closely, you can still find a lot of uh, uh, canidium of uh, dung mildew in there, and particularly underneath of the leaf or on the stem of the plant. Of course, the pathogen also can infect the young shoot, and uh, so uh, they cannot get the, the part uh, produced. That's why and can um, the, reduce the yield of the pea crop. The best way uh, the, to um, understand the disease, we have to do the scouting right start very beginning. For example, in the early June, in the central and central east of Alberta area particularly. And once you saw this kind of systemic infected city, sunken plant, you, you have to start to spray with the chemical fungicide to stop it right away before they can become widely spread in the field. Okay, and when we're scouting, how do we tell the difference between um, downy mildew and uh, yeah. powdery mildew? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Yeah? You can see downy mildew usually, so the spore produces underneath of the leaf. But powdery mildew just reverse way. It goes to the top surface of the leaf and also white color. You can see the quite clearly. Yeah, so why should we bother to control this? Okay, Debla, you know a lot of plants die due to infection by the downy mildew. Okay, but sometimes they say not affect that year. Then why bother we control the disease? But one thing you have to remember, because this disease produces that survival structure, so-called old spore. They survive in the soil more than 10 years, up to 15, 15 years. So after five or 10 years rotation, you come back, grow the pea again, the crop most likely will get the disease. Okay, so also they produce a lot of spore. So the disease only be, become more severe than before. It won't go away forever. So that's why, don't think about this uh, minor disease, no way. So only those experienced people, experienced farmer, grower, they understand how severe and how important disease is. So please keep that in mind.